What do you think my collection's complete? What do you think I'm a girl who have a lot of jelly? <laughs> This new 2024 year, I decided that I want to spend my wall beads collection that I collected for my entire life. By the way, actually, in case you haven't noticed, my today's look was inspired by Ariana's Grande, yes, and a new music video. Oh my god, I just can't wait for your new era. I'm just like, yes, Ariana, yes. I'm ready. <laughs> I am a cosplayer mostly because I really do love doing stuff with my hands. Well, actually, a lot of stuff with my hands, but I'm talking about handmade and craft. <laughs> I really do love handmade since my childhood, and I really love not a specific handmade, but like all of them. All of them! <laughs> And because of this, I have a really very common in handmade community problem. And many, many people will feel me right now. Because when you're making something crafty, you really need a lot of instruments and materials for this. And for every specific hobby, you need kind of specific instruments and stuff for doing this. And you're starting to collect it, buying it, taking it from your friends, finding it for free <laughs> and slowly and carefully year by year it's growing and growing and one day you're realizing that there is so many shit i have <laughs> that i'm not even using because you know like procrastination yeah but this year i really wanted to fix it actually first and foremost i was inspired really very much by youtube and by girls on YouTube who are making videos, I'm doing stuff from Pinterest. <laughs> and it's not like a tutorial thing, but it's more like a vlog thing. But about craft and handmade. What a genius freaking idea, oh my god! <laughs> I was so inspired, so I just realized that this is it. <laughs> I just started to make things. For like an entire month, I just only made jewelries and I was so freaking happy. <laughs> you may ask me right now, Sarah, where the did you get all these materials? I mean, wait. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was actually shocked by myself <laughs> when I realized how big is my collection actually is. I got them not because of cosplay and I never ever bought myself beads specifically, you know, like for making jewelry. When I was a child, my mom brought me a lot of kinder surprises and blind bags for girls and there was a lot of jewelry. I just collected them. When I got some kind of jewelry and I didn't like it, I just draped it off. Sometimes my friends gifted something to me. Sometimes I just randomly found something on the streets. I mean, like, serious. There is so many necklaces that I just randomly found out on streets, like laying in the ground. And I actually just restyled a lot of jewelry that I got when I was an, an adult. I had no locks, no chains, no rings for just, you know, like, randomly putting my beads on it and then tying it up and wearing it. I just tried to use it sewing threads, but of course all my bracelets and necklace just torn apart very quickly because of it. So I just ended up just collecting all this stuff. Right now I'm an adult grown-up woman and I can't afford myself making jewelries. So I did it! I placing it on painting frames or photo frames, just frames. I just use it not a paper but fabric inside of it and I holding all those jewelries on pins. I don't want it to storage them in the chest or <laughs> treasure chest so no one will see it. No, I really want everyone to see this shit. <laughs> especially me. I really work it a lot for this. I really want to have it as my achievement board or something like this. And I sorted them by some kind of family. First family, I'm calling it Beats with Pins <laughs> family. I actually had no idea what am I gonna do. <laughs> Because I never ever, you know, like specifically made jewelries before. I just opened a Pinterest and started to pin all 
necklaces and bracelets which I like it the most. I really like it the mixture of silver pins with beads. I realized that this is the perfect thing for myself because I had no idea how can I mixture this the beginning of 2000s kids fashion with modern jewelry accessories. My very first accessory was actually this one. I saw on the Pinterest necklace with adorable, really, really, very cute strawberry. And I immediately remembered that I had a lemon thing in my collection. Look at this, it's so cute. Where did I got this lemon though? I don't really know. No, I think it was a pen, my school pen. It just had a fancy pendant on it. I just took off this lemon and placed it in my collection and voila! <laughs> I really loved it how on this reference there was a lot of different sizes of it, a lot of different designs of it and I just mixed all of this and I was able to randomly mix them and then play them together wherever the hell I want. And this time I realized that, yeah, this is going to work. Mix it together, they turn out to be so, so beautiful. So I kind of have like first collection entirely inspired by this. I had a lot of yellow and green beads. I actually don't really like those colors <laughs> and I really felt like I'm not going to wear this anywhere, but this I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear this. And I had a lot of green and yellow beads, so I just made some kind of bracelet. Here I have next very beautiful color combination orange and blue. I really found out that color theory is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> I just opened a color scheme, rainbow stuff, and I ended up with such beautiful ideas. This one, for example, I had this very beautiful star. I don't know what it is, but it shines so cute. Second one color scheme that I enjoyed really very much, yellow and violet. Mainly I was inspired with this necklace with wood love on it. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> I made it a little bit shorter. It's more like choker. And I actually had a little tiny collection of very, very small beads for braiding and stuff. And I just placed it on pins too. And it turned out to be so beautiful. Oh my god, I was so inspired. I just lived my life. <laughs> Here I have my the most amazing beautiful idea of all of them. I just had a pretty big collection of beads related to sea and I had this beautiful sea star. I have no idea where I got this and my mom gifted me those cute beads from shells with holes on it. I had no idea how am I supposed to use it by itself but when I placed it all of these bits on pins and combine it together, I realized that I'm in love. I just love this so much. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the next amazing ingenious idea with which I came up when I started to make all those jewelries is to use ribbons. Ribbons on your necklaces. Oh my god, it's such a genius idea. Pinterest. Thank God that we have Pinterest. It's some kind of trend too as well in modern jewelry just to use ribbons. But I have a little life hack for you guys. If you're making jewelries with ribbons and you're making bows, please sew it. <laughs> If you tied it really, really very thick and you think that it is hard and it will survive you, everything, no, just sew it, believe me. And here we have really very cute brown and pink color combination. And I have a little base. We have something blue too. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Here I made this really very popular too on Pinterest choker thing with a ring in the middle of it. Can see it this is ring <laughs> i really adore how it looks here i have my beautiful really very beloved necklace with a bow and silver pendant over there i just combined all my transparent glasses beads on it i actually wore this thing for my snigurichka job and you can actually watch video related to her
I can be red. This necklace inspired by my Hello Kitty little pendant. I just wanted to use this and because of this Hello Kitty, I just mixed silver and red bits on it. I think it's going to be so beautiful. Hold on. Here I have some orange necklace. I, for some reason, had a lot of orange beads. I just placed them on pins and made my beloved beads on pins stylish necklace. And I used a ribbon again here and it turned out to be so beautiful. Here I have something really so damn beautiful. I'm calling it Starfall. <laughs> this was a bracelet. Bracelet on rubber. I always was in love with those beautiful fish eye beads, but I hated it as a bracelet, so I never wore them. So there I just tried this beautiful combination of pins with star looking beads and I made it like a waterfall on pins with round ends and it matches my eyes, so beautiful by the way. Guys, two seconds later. And here I have another one beautiful necklace. I had a lot of vintage beads. I think it was some kind of necklace too. There was beautiful pearly beads, flower shaped beads. And here we have a lot of beautiful beads as flowers. And I just combined them with stars that I had in my collection because I seen that it matched green leaves on these beads. And it turned out to be such a beautiful spring flowery necklace. It looks amazing. I love this. As I also love this amazing pearl pearlish choker. Can you see this? So beautiful! <gasps> I placed it on ring again. It was really very heavily inspired by Pinterest, as you can see. Necklace is from pearls. It's like a trending thing in modern accessories, but I had not as many pearls in my collection, and I just thought to combine all of them in one amazing, beautiful pearl choker. It's so beautiful. I know that I actually said it 4,000 million times for now, but it is beautiful because it is so beautiful. Okay. I had some big transparent beads and I made those necklace a little bit, you know, like minimalistic, but it still looks really very beautiful. This necklace was totally inspired by Pinterest. I had this beautiful glass heart-shaped pendant in my collection and I actually wore it pretty often simply on black cord but when I saw this reference I realized that this shit is going to be lit <laughs> so I just mixed it with a pretty thick chain that I had in my collection and with those beads from my collection too as well I just placed it on pins and voila we have this beautiful violet necklace and here we have something that I'm calling... I'm not even sure where am I going to wear it, but I'm glad that I have this in my collection. <laughs> Those ones... The problem of these jewelries is actually that they made out of hair rubber. But you know, they expire and turn apart really very quickly. And only beads from it remains. It was really very beautiful, thick hair rubber. But I had no idea what am I going to do with them. I just thought maybe I can play them separately on some kind of necklace. But no, it looks beautiful together. So I just placed it on the wire all of them and they created this thick very voluminous thingy and i just mixed it with another one crimson beads from my collection i i don't freaking know where am i gonna wear it but i have this in my collection i'm happy because and i also had the same but pink hair elastic and i thought that this time i want to combine it with simple ribbon and the last one it was inspired by pinterest too heavily <laughs> I had a lot of green beads in my collection and I had those tiny beads in my collection too as well and I just seen this reference on Pinterest and I quickly realized that I'm going to make the same thing. I don't know where am I going to wear it again and I'm not really sure that I made it properly because this swirly thing unswirls every time and I don't really know how to keep it in place. but. 
it still looks amazing. I love this. Are you still there? Because we're not even halfway done. <laughs> I have another wine family that I'm going to introduce to you and this is my Chokers family. Actually, I had a pretty long story with Chokers since I'm a Final Fantasy IX fanatic and specifically Garnet de Lisandre's fanatic. I always wanted to be like her and one of the things that I copied from her was this beautiful black choker, which I actually had in my collection. But back then, when I was young and beautiful, I made it from this simple ribbon and I just simply stupid buttony stuff on it. I just click clacked it at my back and wore it like this. Right now, right now we have technologies, baby. Right now I made a lot of chokers with those thingies. I have no freaking idea how are they calling, but they are really very useful. You're just smashing it at the ends of the ribbon and voila! But when I realized that I can make these chokers so easily, I thought, hmm, maybe I can make not only black, but actually from different colors. And voila, we have an entire rainbow collection over there. <laughs> On a lot of them, almost all of them, I actually placed something like pendant. At my old one choker, for example, I placed this cute heart-shaped pendant. I have no idea where I got this. And I actually had like two same pendants and I realized that I can actually make the same one but with a red ribbon. What a genius idea. I have this beautiful, beautiful snail with amazing big blue eyes can you see this when i saw this eyes i realized that this is going to be a choker on this blue ribbon this thing i found this penguin just randomly lying around on the street can you imagine this my heart was broken when i saw it and i realized that i'm going to save you it was an earring and since I have no brother <laughs> for it, I just made a choker. Here I have something really very Pinterest. -y. It's like Pinterest itself. I seen a lot of these heart-shaped necklaces on jewelry on Pinterest. It is actually something that you can open and you can place photos on it. So I just placed it photo of Ariana Grande and Garnetil Alexandra's here because it's like my most beloved girls and planet hers. I mean like my inspiration, my biggest inspiration and stuff. And I just placed it on beautiful champagne ribbon with beautiful pink ribbon. Really very beautiful. And here I have Joker, which you know like screaming Barbie! <laughs> Barbie and the magic of Pegasus, for example, yeah. This beautiful crystal, it was actually from hair elastic to deja vu. <laughs> I kept it since my childhood, since my kindergarten. I got this for my kindergarten New Year party. And I had this beautiful lavender colored ribbon in my collection and I immediately realized that they belong together. It looks really very beautiful. And here I have something that I'm calling lazy choker. <laughs> this is just a thin ribbon with a cute little pendant, Hello Kitty pendant by the way, which I can just wrap around my neck and tie it with cute bow and voila, we have a beautiful necklace. You can do this, you know, that easily. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit way too beautiful to wear it like on the daily basics and stuff, but cares. <laughs> and here I have something interesting. I had in my collection these hearts and E sign. You may ask me what E means and I will answer you. I have no freaking idea. <laughs> well, no, I have an idea what is that means. It means like E. <laughs> beautiful white choker with pearl just simple yellow choker with green pendants for my lemon necklace for example the best one and here i have two very beautiful chokers it's like screaming it it's screaming like barbie i had this beautiful pink 
crystals in my collection from, you guess it, from hair rubber. <laughs> I don't know why hair elastics for kids is such a special thing, but it is. <laughs> I had two of them and it has such a beautiful pastel pink color, so I immediately realized that I want to combine it with another beautiful pastel color, pastel blue color. Pastel pink and pastel blue is an amazing color combination. And for some goth periods of my life, I have two very gothic one chokers in my collection. First one, I mixed my grandmother's pendant and with black chain. I really love how chains looks with ribbon chokers. This is amazing. And this was again from Pinterest. <laughs> and here I have choker with beads, which I made myself. I painted them black myself for my Marin Kitagawa bracelet. And I have this beautiful bird in the middle of it, which I randomly found on the streets, on the ground. Yeah, what a beautiful story for such a cute accessory, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so freaking done for now, <laughs> you can't even imagine. But we're not even halfway done. Maybe halfway done, but there's still a lot of stuff. Next one, family that I have over here in a specific white frame, I'm calling it minimalistic ones accessories because actually minimalistic jewelry is the main trend for accessories right now and I kind of love this. They are not so hard to make as those ones, but it's still really very pleasant experience for me. For most of it, I'm just fixed my old chains and got all my black threads collection and placed some random stuff on it, but there is some pieces which I actually want to talk about more. <laughs> Here, as an example for really very very simple jewelries I had those silver beads so I just decided simply put them on this black elastic thing which you can use as a necklace or as a choker you just can tie it whatever you want I'm really happy to have jewelries for different situations and occasions and here goes something which screams Pinterest <laughs> I was really heavily inspired by this Pinterest reference for this and I just made this accessory from the scratch. I had this cute plastic heart thing, I had this cool chain and I had a lot of pearlish beads which I just combined it together and I got this, which is so amazing and I'm so I'm so happy. <laughs> I can make a really very impressive side by side with it. And here I have something which was inspired too heavily with Pinterest. And this thing has a really very interesting story actually. Those chain parts was actually my most favorite most beloved silver chain which i wore a lot but one day when i had an emotional breakdown i torn it apart i was like so angry for some reasons yeah and since it is a real silver it was a real silver it is really very squishy and it was really very easy to torn on those little pieces I was so upset. <laughs> After I realized what I did with this chain, I was upset, but I decided to just, you know, like collect it. And right now, when I started making all those jewelries, I just found out this thing and I thought maybe I can make something with it. I don't want to throw it away. No, I want to use it. And then I found this beautiful reference on the Pinterest and I realized that I have those cute, tiny, pearlish beads beads in my collection and I placed them on pins and just combined this with this silver chain and voila! I gave like a second life to this and it even it turned out to be even more beautiful than it was before. And you know, this is the main thing that I love in Handmade, that you can take something and give like the second burst to it, just with your hand and 
with your inspiration. It's so amazing. Here I have some kind of minimalistic silver heart thing. Actually really very popular heart-shaped pendant on Pinterest too as well. I don't know, maybe some kind of brand or something like this. Here I have something extraordinary. <laughs> I just found in my collection this crystally button and I placed it on a really, really very thin chain that I had in my collection. And voila, it came up as an interesting choker. It actually looks really, very beautiful. <laughs> Talking about modern art, ribbons on chains. There I have pieces of this silver chain that I torn apart. Here I have bow from beads. What a genius idea. It is actually really very trendy stuff on Pinterest too. And since I had a lot of orange beads, when I said you this, I meant it. And here I have really very interesting something from my heart <laughs> necklace mainly inspired from chibiusa k with silver crystal thing because i have this beautiful silver k thing in my collection but also i had this red bead which is reminding me of garnet that garnet held in the game and i had this crystal this is something that reminds me of garnet silver pendant i don't know why but i always sense my childhood imagined it that someday I will use it as a silver pendant. Here I have Hello Kitty choker. You know, I'm actually a Hello Kitty fan. It was a pretty, pretty long chain, which was like this, and I didn't like it, so I just made it shorter. And here I have something really very special for myself. This. It's just blue and green plastic beads, but you know what? This was my first one joy that I had in my life. Yeah, I really, really remember that I got this from some kind of Kinder Surprise egg or something like this. It was on exactly black red and it was this simple. When I found out that I still have those beads in my collection, I was so happy and I just made the same one necklace that I got when I was a child. I really wanted this to be that minimalistic, the same thing that I got it when I was a child. And I'm so happy that I have it in my collection right now. And here I have some something really very unique and handmade. When I finished all my repairments for my necklaces, I realized that I had a lot of rings, silver rings, pretty big ones, and I actually love how it looks. So I just placed them together with some squishy beads. And it turned out to be such a beautiful chain. I really love this. I think maybe I'm going to make some more of it. And I just placed a little beautiful doll on it as a necklace. And something really very interesting from Pinterest again. I just seen this reference and I decided to make it these. And I had like a lot of beads leftovers and I placed them at the ends. And the last one, the last one thing, I swear to God. <laughs> When I actually slowly started to run off from my materials, I started to make something smaller, like bracelets. I have like entire freaky big collection of bracelets. But mostly what I want to talk about is my last family of jewelry, which I'm calling knitted jewelry. <laughs> you know, I had a lot of childish pendants in my collection and I was not sure how to use them because they're not going to go well with pins but then I came up with an idea maybe I will break something for it I tried it and I realized that I hate it <laughs> pretty slow and kind of boring thing and you need to take those tiny tiny threads and glue them to something and then like make your fist with your hands. I, I hate it. But what I love to do is to knit. And I ended up with these. <laughs> First of all, I found out how to knit thread with croquette. It's really very easy and simply and it looks really very cute and first of all I made it for this blue heart. I mixed it blue and white cord for this and I actually mixed it with silver furniture as well because I really love how it looks. Mixed materials, you know? And it will be not that interesting on a simple chain or thread but on this it looks so beautiful. And here goes these, a black thread, 
I made it for those crimson cubes, which I got from, you guess it, from an hair elastic. I don't know which problem with hair elastics, but they are made, okay? And right now I have this interesting pendant. Here I go, something that I got from I don't know where. And I have a little chalker for it, so it can be a situar. And then I just used this style for bracelets. I had this beautiful pink and red moon from a hair elastic again. <laughs> I just simply knitted this flat bracelet with my crocket. I have this tiny beautiful Hello Kitty cat and I made a tiny tiny minimalistic bracelet for it. Oh and I also had these beautiful green shells and I knitted this cord with my crocket too as well for this. So now I have this beautiful bracelet. Here! Apple! An apple! A bracelet with an apple! Are you kidding me? It's so it's so cute! I'm so happy that I made this and mostly I made this because of an amazing artistic people here on the internet. <laughs> I got such a happy and big inspiration for making stuff from it and I really want to share this inspiration with you as well. Please do something with your hands. This is so amazing. 